when either the demand or the supply curve is provided in a diagram, my students usually can identify the demanded quantity and supplied quantity. However, when both demand and supply curve are present in one diagram, some students think it is difficult. No, it's not. Even a kid could do it. What will you learn? For a given price, you will be able to identify demanded and supplied quantities. You will also learn how to identify surpluses, shortages, and the equilibrium in a demand-supply diagram. What is the demanded quantity when the price is 2? We start at the price axis because prices cause demanded quantity. We ignore the red curve because we are not analyzing supply and we move horizontally to the blue demand curve, thus holding the price constant at $2. Afterwards, we move vertically down, thus not changing the quantity demanded that we found. Quantity demanded is 3.4 when the price is $2. What is the supplied quantity when the price is $2? We start again at the price axis, but now we ignore the blue curve and we move horizontally to the red curve. After that, we move vertically down. Now, quantity supplied is 6.7 when the price is $2. Consequently, we are facing excess supply of 3.3 when the price is $2. What if the price is $1? We start at the price axis and try finding quantity demanded. We ignore the red curve because we are not analyzing supply. We move horizontally to the blue demand curve, keeping price at $1 and move vertically down, maintaining quantity demanded. We see quantity demanded is now 6.6 when the price is $1. To find supplied quantity for price of $1, we start again at the price axis, move horizontally to the red supply curve and vertically down to find a quantity supplied of 3.4 for price of $1. Consequently, we are facing excess demand of 3.2 when the price is $1. Now comes a special case. What if the price is $1.5? To find the demanded quantity, we move again horizontally to the blue demand curve and then vertically down. Quantity demanded is 5. What is the supplied quantity? For a price of 150, quantity supplied is also 5. We can see this when we move from a price of 1.5 horizontally to the red curve and then vertically down. Therefore, for a price of $1.50, quantity demanded and quantity supplied are simultaneously equal. This should not come as a surprise because demand and supply curves intersect. They share a common point, the equilibrium.
the market pushes it towards its equilibrium price of $1.50. Therefore, there is a tendency to always reach an equilibrium.